Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial guys, we are going to be tackling question 2.3 from the grade 12 Mathematical Literacy Paper 2 that was written in June 2023. And in this question guys, we are going to be dealing with packaging. Okay, so packaging falls under models, right? And it falls under maps, plans, and other representations of the physical world okay so you need to be able to deal with packaging questions that are in 2d you need to be able to deal with packaging questions that are in 3d in this question right we want to basically determine how many rims of paper will we be able to fit into just one shelf of um, this cabinet okay given that um, the length of the rim of paper is that, the width of the rim of paper is that, the height of the rim of paper is that, right? And given the dimensions of the maximum space on one shelf, right? We're given the length, we're given the width, and we're also given the height, okay? So, if you know that you struggle with these questions, please make sure that you watch the entire video tutorial. I'm going to be taking you guys through the approach that you should use to determine whether we will be able to fit 36 rooms of paper. Please make sure that you watch this video tutorial. A lot of students get these types of questions wrong, okay? So, please make sure that you follow each each and every step that I do, listen to each and every explanation that I give because that is really going to help. Just skipping through the video tutorials, you're going to miss important points that I am making. Okay, so before we get started, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video tutorial, guys. And also, please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow. And and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks. Also, if you're still interested in being part of the grade 12 Maths Lit Zoom lessons, we still have space available, right? So you've just missed one class. However, I've basically recorded that session. So you can still catch up if you are really determined. You can still catch up. Our next lesson will be on Thursday. We are currently going through measurements, right? I should be done with uh, measurements this coming saturday okay so please make sure that you hop on and basically join our group guys it is really going to help you most especially if you're struggling with math literacy all right so let's get started with today's video tutorial guys in today's video tutorial we're going to be tackling question 3 2.3 and question 2.3 guys deals with packaging we want to determine whether actually we just want to determine how many rims of paper will we be able to fit into one shelf of this um cabinet okay so let's have a look so it says a mathematical literacy teacher collected 36 rims of paper from her learners okay shown below is a picture and a diagram with the dimensions of a rim of paper okay we're given the picture of the rim of paper so that that's just them telling you what is a rim of paper so it's your type x right an example of a rim of paper or a brand that sells rims of paper is Typex. Here we're given the diagram of the rim of paper with the dimensions. Okay, we are given that the length, okay, is um remember guys, the length is the longest distance. Okay, we're given that the length is equal to um 27.94 centimeters. We are given the width, that is our width, the distance from there to there. It is uh, 21.59 centimeters and we're also given the height the height of our rim of paper the height is 6.35 centimeters okay we are told that the teacher intends on packing um the rims of paper in a secure cabinet so she wants to pack now these rims of paper um in this cabinet okay and we are given the dimensions of the maximum space on one shelf okay so you need to be very careful here so what do they mean when they talk about the maximum space on one shelf? They're just saying that the maximum space on just this shelf, okay, is the length is 102 centimeters, right? The width. So we can't see the width, right, from this direction, but it's actually that distance from there to there. 
Okay, that is the width there, right? You can see it there, right? That is the width. And we are told that the width is 44 centimeters wide. And we are given the height, right? So the distance from there to the of one shelf, right? As 39 centimeters. So let me just show you what is made by this. Okay, so we basically have our cabinets there. Okay, so this is our cabinet, right? And when you basically open your cabinets, right? This is how it looks, right? We are told that, okay, the length of our cabinet, right, is equal to, or the length of one shelf of our cabinet is equal to 102 um, centimeters. So the length is that the longest distance, right? It is 102 centimeters, right? We are also given the width. What is the width? It's actually that distance from there to there. You can't see that, right? So that is the width, right, of our cabinet. And I've shown you guys there that actually the width right is then this distance there right so that is our width there okay right so we are told that the width is actually equal to 44 centimeters and we are also given the height right so just one shelf right the height of just one shelf or the height is that distance or the length from there to there right so the height is equal to 39 centimeters all right so that's basically um those dimensions that are given to us right we are literally just focusing right on one shelf of the cabinet right so just one shelf has those dimensions this shelf also has those dimensions okay this shelf also has those dimensions so all of these shelves have these dimensions so now we basically want to have a look at the questions that are given to us so the question says that use the information above to answer the questions that follow it says show with calculations right 2.3.1 show with calculations that all the rims of paper collected can fit on one shell okay of the cabinet so we want to basically now use the concepts that we've learned in packaging right to basically determine whether all the rims of paper right that the teacher collected from her learners which is the 36 rims of paper will actually be able to fit into one shelf of the cap so how will we go about doing this question okay so i think it would be normal to think that you would have to then calculate um someone might think would i have to calculate the volume of one rim of paper and calculate the volume of one shelf right and then from there that will help me determine how many rims of paper because i'll just take the volume of the one shelf and divided by the volume of the rims of paper to determine whether i'll actually be able to fit 36 rims of paper right that thinking is correct however in this case if you were to do that you'd actually overestimate your answer okay that is why when we're dealing with these scenarios you actually need to think of it in this way we need to think about how many rims of paper okay will i actually be able to fit along the length right how many rooms of paper will i actually be able to fit along the length that is what we want to determine how many rooms of paper will i actually be able to fit along the width and how many rooms of paper right will i be able to fit along the height okay so all the time when you're dealing with this concept right and you're dealing with packaging and they basically want to determine how many items can i pack into a particular box pack into a particular something right you always need to think in that way how many items can i fit along the length how many can i fit along the width how many can i fit along the height because doing that will help you actually see how many rooms of paper will you actually be able to fit them into this bookshelf but then let's actually see what i mean by this it will make sense okay so like i mentioned okay we need to determine how many rooms of paper you will, will we be able to fit along the length okay so what will help us to determine that all right so for us to be able to determine how many rooms of paper we will be able to basically fit along the length that basically means that we're going to be looking at the length right for one shelf and we're going to be looking at the length right of one rim of paper 
okay because if we work with those two links right we will then be able to then see how many rims of paper will I then be able to fit along the length okay so what we're going to do we are just going to take so to determine the length or to determine the number of rims of paper along the length right we're going to be working with length and length okay so obviously we're going to take your bigger length which is the length of the shelf and we're going to divide it with the smaller length which is the length of your um rims of paper okay so here right that is going to be we're going to take that 102 centimeters and we are going to divide it by what is the length for the rim of paper it's 27.94 centimeters okay and when you punch this into your calculator that is actually going to tell you how many rims of paper you would be able to fit along the length all right so if you punch this into your calculator what do you get you will actually get 36 point six five zero six eight zero zero two nine okay so the units here is not going to be centimeters because the centimeters and the centimeters are cancelling this value that we are obtaining here tells us about how many rims of paper we would be able to fit along the length so now you need to be very careful now when it comes to this this is where now it gets a bit um complicated for some learners when it comes to this topic okay now this answer is telling you that you can fit 3.65 rims of paper along the length okay so in other words if we had to draw this right it's saying that i can fit one two three point zero five so that, that means that the other one right the other um rim of paper right it needs to be cut in half so this one needs to be cut in half right so would that make sense okay so now you need to think of it in this case right you can't put three and a half rims of paper along the lens because you're not going to now cut that rim of paper with the guillotine right so now you need to be like okay that means that i need to think of how many whole rims of paper i would actually be able to fit into the shelf right and how many whole rims of paper would i actually be able to fit it's just three okay so in this case you would only be physically physically able to just fit one two two and three rims of paper okay because you can't put three and 0 0.5 rims of paper okay so that's why you need to be careful here you need to think of how many whole rims of paper will i be able to fit just along the length okay so that basically tells us that i can just only fit three rims of paper because you won't cut um now a rim of paper to fit then the other 0 0.5 okay so that's where you need to be um very careful all right let's have a look at the next one right how many rims of paper will we be able to fit along the width right so this is the width right that is the width right how many rooms of paper would we be able to fit um on this shelf along the width along the width okay so what are we going to do we're going to take the width of your uh, shelf right because that is the bigger width right and you are going to divide it with the width of one room of paper which is 21.59 okay so we're going to take the width of the shelf which is 44 centimeters that is the width of the shelf okay and we are going to divide it by the width of um just one room of paper and then that is 21.59 centimeters okay so if you punch this into your calculator right you see that the centimeter and the centimeter are going to cancel and whatever value that you're going to get from this answer is just telling you how many rooms of paper will fit along the width okay so if you punch this into your calculator you will get 2.037980529 rims of paper okay so remember when we are working with packaging we are working with a real life situation right and with physical objects right we're not working with money where we can work with decimals so that is why when you think about your final answer you need to think how many whole 
rims of paper will I be able to fit? You won't fit 2.03 rims of paper. Okay, how many whole rims of paper in this case will you be able to fit along the width? You will only be able to fit approximately two rims of paper. Okay, so how would this basically look? That basically means that, okay, towards the width, right, I will only be able to fit two rims of paper. You might have some space left, right, but maximum you will only be able to fit two rims of paper and then lastly let's determine how many rims of paper we can basically fit along the height okay so here we're going to say now the number of rims of paper along the height what do we need to do here same thing we want to work with the bigger height which is the height of the shelf we're going to take that 39 um centimeters and we're going to divide it by what is the height of the rim of paper it's 6.35 centimeters okay same here what are you noticing the units are cancelling centimeters and the centimeters are cancelling whatever answer that you're going to be getting is just telling you about how many rims of paper you will be able to fit along the height okay so if you punch it into your calculator you'll basically get 6.141732283 rims of paper same thing here guys we are working with a real life situation we're working with physical rims of paper so now you won't now try to take six and a half or 6.0 6.014 rims of paper you want to fit whole rims of papers along the height okay so this answer is just telling us that oh actually i can only fit up just six rims of paper okay right so that is basically how you need to approach this um question okay when basically looking at the concept of volume if we basically tackled that question in that way we would have overestimated the amount or the total number of rooms of paper we would be able to fit into this shelf that is why you need to break it up and you need to think of how many rooms of paper can i fit along the length how many can i fit along the height how many can i fit along the width right and then from there you wouldn't be overestimating the values in that case because you'll be able to see that oh approximately i can just fit three. Oh, approximately along the width i can just fit two and then along the height i can just fit six okay so that means that along the height i will only be able to fit this is or oh, there's already one there's another one two three four five six rims of paper that i'll be able to fit along the height however we are not done right we want to determine whether this mathematical literacy teacher will be able to actually fit these 36 rims of paper that she got from her learners okay so that means that we are going to take that three rims of paper multiplied by two rims of paper multiplied by the six rims of paper to determine how many rims of paper would she actually be able to fit then into one shelf okay so the total number of rims right that she can fit into one shelf right would be that three multiplied by the two multiplied by the six okay so if you take three multiplied by two multiplied by six you'll find that actually right this teacher would be able to fit 36 rims of paper in one shelf of this cabinet okay so that is basically how you can basically go about answering this question if you basically tried to do this question by looking at by going through the volume route right you were going to get 45.69 rooms of paper so do you see that you would have 
actually overestimated the amount of rims of paper you were going to fit into just one shelf right that is why you need to break it up and think of how many can i fit in the length the width and the height and then from there you need to take those individual values that you've obtained and you multiply them um together right to determine how many rooms of paper in total would you be able to fit um into this cabinet okay so you need to be very careful when it comes to this question i'm going to put a link to another question where i've done packaging on my channel down in the description box and you can also have a look at that question just so that you ensure that you understand what is going all right guys so that is it let us have a look at so this was question three point sorry this was question 2.3.1 right and let's have a look at the next question so the next question is just easy marks right it's saying give one reason why the teacher would like to pack the rims of paper in the cabinet okay so here any reasonable explanation will give you two marks maybe you'll say that okay maybe the teacher wants to put these rooms of paper into this cabinet to keep them dust free okay maybe the teacher wants to keep these rooms of paper in the cabinet to keep them safe for later use right maybe the teacher is keeping the rooms of paper in this cabinet with the glass because the teacher wants the learners to see that she's actually using the rooms of paper maybe she's keeping them in the cabin cabinets for convenient purposes uh, or maybe she's keeping them in the cabinet just to keep her classmates so i mean any any answer that is just reasonable would be accepted okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial guys nice short and sweet the take care is you need to break up the length the width and the height don't just calculate the volume as a whole of the cab of one shell of the cabinet and the volume of the rims of paper and then from there just divide the volume of the shelf with the volume of the rims of paper that would be incorrect because you would doubt be overestimating doing it in this way breaking it up allows us to then be able to look at the overestimation because what do you realize when you're just calculating the volume as it is you wouldn't be now um rounding it down to three rooms of paper to two rooms of paper to six rooms, rooms of paper you'd be working with those values as they are okay that is why it's a problem so you need to break it up and look at it individually right because then in that way you would be getting a more accurate um correct amount of rooms of paper you'd be able to fit in this cabinet all right so i hope i clarified that concept for you guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload guys please make sure that you share all these video tutorials with your friends right um please share please please share these video tutorials guys let's help the channel reach 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys. Thank you.